Drew James here from Learn Guitar in London with another lesson, this time Fingerstyle, Mumford Sir and Sons, Roll Away Your Stone. Now this song has been requested by loads of people in the past and I uh, finally got around to doing it. I really love this intro. It's almost like a little mini song in itself, this intro. So this is going to take me a little while just to show you every little bit and do it in my normal patient and understanding way. Now here's how it's going to work out there. If you can give this video 700 likes, then I will make the rest of the song. But for now, this is just gonna be the intro to see if you guys like it and you like what I'm doing. Uh, but if it gets 700 likes, then I will do the rest of it. Let's start learning how to play it. Now you need to play this song properly to do two things. First of all, you're gonna need a capo. I'll tell you where to put that in just a second. And most importantly, really, you need to learn how to tune your strings differently to normal. So normally your strings are tuned to E, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye, Eddie. But if you try to play what I'm teaching you while you're in that tuning, it's not gonna sound the same. And what Mumford & Sons do in a lot of their songs is they tune to something called open D. Now the reason why it's called open D is because this is a D chord, and this D chord contains a D, an A, a D, and an F sharp. So basically, and I'm dropped so it won't sound nice at the moment. So basically what we need to do is change all our strings so that they contain just those notes. So the top string normally is tuned to E, but so what I want you to do is I want you to loosen the headstock until it says D on your electronic tuner, if that's how you're doing it, or you can play open D here and D here and just get them to sound in unison. I'm not gonna be spending a great deal of time showing you how to tune down for this lesson. I'm just gonna tell you what you need to tune down to. So your A string stays the same because there's an A and a D chord. Your D stays the same because there's a D and a D chord. The G, there is no G in a D chord. So as we're tuned to G on this string, there is an F sharp in a D, D chord. So what we do is we're gonna loosen the G string, not as much as we've loosened it for the thickest string, until it says F sharp on your tuner, so loosen. The B, is there a B in a D chord? No, there is not. So what we do is we loosen the B string until it says A, okay? And finally, the bottom string, we loosen it to it so it's D. So the strings are E, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And then if you strum the strings, you'll know you've got it right because when you strum it, it makes this lovely, nice, open sounding chord or actually a D chord, okay? So once you've done that, get your capo, stick it on the second fret of the guitar and now you're ready to play the tune, simple as. So let's have a look at the beginning. This is finger style. So the thumb plays the top three strings, index plays the G, middle plays the B, and ring plays the E. The beginning of this tune is pinching, top and bottom string. Pinching means pulling two at the same time. Then you're gonna hammer with your index finger. Hammer means you have your thumb behind and you slap your index finger into the string. It's a lot about speed, a lot about thumb placement, but mostly about practice and persistence. So pinch, hammer, it's the second fret. And then ring finger hammers to the fourth fret on the thinnest string. Pinch, index, ring, hammer, hammer, hammer. Then middle and ring, middle, thumb and middle finger is the next pinch. So middle finger on the B string, so it's Then fourth fret on the thinnest string, just play that by itself, no hammer on. Then hold it down, thumb on the top string and ring finger and slide from four to five with a pinch. See, I'm pinching on the top and pinching on the bottom, but doing a slide. A slide means you keep the pressure down on the string and you sort of dig into your callus and you feel this metal bit here slide under your finger, pass under and that keeps it going, rather than going we're getting this, see it's got a lot more sustain. So, so far. Then come back to four, pinch, and you're gonna flick 
to your index finger. So a flick off is where you pull the string down, dig your callus in, and I'm flicking in this case from four to two. Here's my two, here's my four. So I'm going, and then I'm going to an open flick off. This is an easiest flick off to do. Dig your callus in and pull away from the string. Notice I'm not, I'm not picking it with this hand, I'm flicking it. So that beginning again. Okay, next part, keep up, here we go. Pinching top and bottom string and doing the hammer on again. That's open second four. Then thumb and middle finger, open strings and hammering this time to the second fret on the B string then open on the finish string. So I'll do that again for you. That's putting it all together, sounds great, doesn't it? Takes a bit of practice, don't get me wrong, but it does sound good and it's worth it. Then come to the second fret on the finished and thumb on the A string, pinch those two and then pinch them again. So I'm gonna do that bar, it's... Repeat. So I'm now gonna do the whole tune up to that point there, okay? So here we go. We're then gonna do exactly the same as the beginning, but this time we're gonna to go to the fourth fret on the thickest string with the ring finger. Now this is optional. I don't think Marcus does this, but it does sound really good to do this for this intro. So thumb on the thickest string and middle finger, pinching those, then pinky on the fourth fret. Give that a pick. And then these two fours that you've now got held down, slide them up to the fifth fret. So we've got, I'll do that again, sorry. Okay, then take your pinky back down to the fourth fret. Okay, flick off. So four, flick with pinky to index. Index has to be there already to flick to two. Otherwise you'll be flicking to an open string and then flicking to an open. So I'm going to do that bar. Having a good job hitting that today, but there you go. And then the final last little bit, pinching same as the intro. Pinching thumb and middle, second fret on the B string, then open on the E. So it's a hammer on onto the second fret, like we've had before. Then second fret on the A string. I'm pinching A string and ring finger. Then open on the E, and then top and bottom string. So that bar. Sorry, it's the thickest string. Okay, so what happens after that is it basically repeats. So that's a good time for me to sort of recap on everything and I'll show you. I'm gonna go from where we were just at and take you into the repeat, listen. that ending in just a second. So when I showed you this little four slide thing, the optional thing of that, you don't have to do that. You can just go, so that's the thickest string as a pinch and sliding from four to five, which is what we do the second time round anyway, okay? So those fours, optional. So you saw that I just basically did the same melody round, round in a circle. And then the ending, I strummed all open strings and held down the fifth fret on the B string, strumming to the B string. 
Okay, I'm going to do that just from the last bar going into that. And then obviously the song kicks off. 